how to install the Epic Game Launcher on your Windows computer. All you got to do is go to the Epic website. I'm going to have a link down in the description for the website. So you can just click on that. So all you do is you hit install right here. And then once you hit the install situation, it's going to download. And then once you hit download, you're just going to simply go to where the download is click on it and start the installation process. So right now we see that it's already doing this thing. And down here, it wants me to click this right here. Once I click this right here and when that pops up, I'm going to hit yes. And then it's going to continue the install. So you just want to let it do its thing. It's not going to take terribly long, but it's not going to be super duper fast either. Then once that loading bar goes all the way across, you'll see right here, it says Epic Games Launcher update available. Just gonna hit the update situation right there. Then it's gonna pop up something on the screen where you just hit yes and confirm. And then it's gonna pop this up. I don't know why it's always going to my other monitor, but it's gonna pop this up, verifying the update. It's gonna do its thing. Then it's gonna download that bad boy. Then obviously just wait till this does its thing. Shouldn't take too long. I ain't never seen nothing say cleaning the update. That's crazy, but I guess it, you know, you don't want a dirty update, I guess, but uh, okay, all right. All right, once that finishes, it should automatically open up the software. And then I thought it was gonna open it up automatically after it did that, but okay, hold on, wait a minute. My computer might not be as quick as I think it is, so I just need to, you know, let it do its thing, I guess. But it does want me to click down here. And again, it put it on the other screen. <laughs> anyway, you want to log in to whatever your, you know, log in situation is, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Steam, Facebook, Google, Apple, Lego, show more. I don't even know what that one is, but anyway, or your email with your password, but yeah, log in and then you can get all your downloads situated, get your games going and have a wonderful splendid time. Then once you log in, it's going to just situate itself on its own and you should be cool. It's going to ask you to, you know, set here and agree to their terms so then it's going to let you choose where you want to install said stuff so right now i'm just going to leave it right here i'm not really tripping auto update create shortcut that's all cool with me at least and again it's going to pull up another confirmation hit yes doggone it done crashed on me you might have a crash on you. Hopefully you don't. But hey, we see right there. It did it to me. But it is what it is. All right. Once we get this thing installed and opened up and everything and past the crash situation that I experienced, now we can scroll around in here, do whatever we want to do, purchase some games, download some free ones, whatever the case may be. And we already know we're just going to simply hit this free one right here. And then we can hit get so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit get right there confirm that okay cool i accept it whatever the case may be all right place to order even though we're technically not even finna buy nothing but all right thank you please do not close the window please do not crash we see we have Fortnite OG and we have the other Fortnite over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click install right there. It's going to let you choose again where you want it to go. You can change it if you would like. And then you can install right here and then wait for it to do its thing. And then once you click to install on one of them, it's going to install, I guess, both of them bad boys right now. And then, as we can see, this one's going to be 66 gigs, so it says. Then you just wait and let that do its thing. It might take a while, depending on your connection. Um, they've been throttling me like crazy here lately, so it is what it is. And it's currently 443 right now, so it's probably another reason why. Or it simply could just be Epic's download situation, because... 
it shouldn't be doing me like this. I don't know why it's doing that, but hey, it is what it is. All right, I'm not even going to lie to you. I have no clue why it says server offline. What is going on with that? All right, so apparently I need to probably try the Fortnite app. Okay. X that off real quick. All right, so I guess I'm going to see if it lets me verify it. So if I go to manage, verify. Anyway, hopefully that does something. We'll see after this um, gets through loading. This verification process is taking so long. I hope that nobody has to experience how long this is taking. I hope it just works for you when you install and download any of the games. This is not cool. You have got to be kidding me. That actually worked. I am so mad because I've been messing with this for more time than I really want to admit. And I could have just done that at the start of this situation and completely solved my issue. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to save you the long story. We're just going to get straight to it. Long story short, this part takes forever. If your game is not on the SSD, just buckle up. And just wait a second, because it's still moving, it's still grooving. On average, it was taking like three minutes for it to load up for me. So it is what it is. And then it do this sometimes. And it's like, okay, all right, I see this new screen. Voila, what's happening? And then you just wait some more. Right now, it's been two minutes and 23 seconds that I've been waiting. I timed it, but I started the timer a little late, so... It's been a little bit longer, maybe a few more seconds longer. But yeah, so just wait for it to start. Don't get too impatient. If it's not on the SSD, it's just going to be slow. And I don't really even know how much faster on the SSD it's going to be. It depends on the SSD. So, but yeah, as you can see right here, connecting the bars loading over is going to launch the game now. That time it took about three minutes and 57 seconds before it took around three minutes and just that was it. So it's going to take anywhere from three minutes to four minutes. And hopefully it don't take you longer than that. But anyway, there you have it. Please slam the like button. This was quite the doozy to come to this conclusion. Um, links down in the description for everything that I recommend. I get a small kickback from the affiliate links, but at no extra charge to you. 